Hey guys, well, I got a fun little project with some little rawhide uh, dog treats and a few rivets and a little this and that. And we got ourselves a neck pipe sheath, neck pipe sheath. Quick disclaimer, if your dogs eat your pipe sheath and your pipe, don't blame me. got a fun little project for you. Uh, now I've had this uh, little belt pipe uh, holder for quite some time and of course I, I, it was an antique when I started carrying it many years ago but every time I'd carry it it would I'd break a, a, a pipe or lose one out of it. So I thought if I turned it into a little neck sheath, there you go. You gotta kinda twist the handle backwards a little bit to get it in there, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. She's in there really nice. But now today, I'm gonna try to make one out of a piece of rawhide. So, if you wanna know how to make a hop sheath, hang in there. Okay, now what I did today is I actually went to the pet store. I'm gonna try to squeeze this water out here much as I can. I got one of the chewy dog bones. Now, a disclaimer, I'm gonna go ahead and put out there. If your dog eats your rawhide sheath and your pipe, it's not my fault. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now I wanna try to copy this. Let me take this off. As much as possible. So, if I go all the way down to this corner here, I think I'll go ahead and tack that out. Now I've just got some finishing nails. This should be fairly easy and quick. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna stretch this rawhide now, not out of proportion. Okay, I'm um, just thinking about speeding this up. Now what I want is a belt loop. I've got a bigger piece of rawhide in there I might have thought about doing. So let's just see if this is gonna work. If I twist that a little bit that way, I think I can get a sheath out of that. I'm gonna pull that nail back out of there tack these down together. We'll pull that one out of there. And tack these down together. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna work nice. Okay, now I'm just gonna tack this little piece of wood down so it don't move and it's gonna hold a space back there for a belt loop to go through or neck carry, whatever you prefer. Heck, you might even be able to put a dangler on there, you know, like a knife sheath dangler. All right, I think that's gonna be all right. Uh, this sheet's gonna be just tied longer that's going to give us plenty of stitching room. So I'm going to spin right around here. You know, I could go ahead and nail the raw head. I'm going to scratch a mark around through here. this side of these nails and we'll be able to get another chance of trimming and cleaning all this up because if you want to be really precise you can get you a ruler Okay, 
let's see how this thing is made. So it comes straight out the bottom, right there. So I guess whenever we stick our pipe in, we'll re-nail this. Let's see if we can get it to come out right there. But then it looks like we need to back up and just cut a little U-shape right in the top of this uh, rawhide. Right here. What, you want another piece of rawhide? Here you go. Okay. Well, there you go. If you go and buy a piece of rawhide to cut, you might as well get your best friend one, too. Okay, and I'm just gently going through this get through I'll be through it here and, and I'm just roughing it out here too I think it would be cool not being absolutely perfect almost through kind of like doing surgery which I've never done. So I'm assuming it's kind of like doing surgery. All right. I think that's going to make a nice little spot. What we're going to do is put a pipe right down in there and let it shape around it. Okay. Well, that seemed easy enough. And I'm sure we'll have to come back and do some stitching around it. So we're just going to let this guy sit out here in the sun for a while and dry, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, it's been kind of sitting out here in the sun for just a little while. still a little bit pliable. So I'm kind of wondering, and I've done some bindings and stuff like that, and you just wrap them tight and forget them until they dry. Because I've got some little rivets here I want to put in instead of trying to sew it. I'm just looking at this kind of test piece here. Looks like it may stay together. What I'm going to do is just come on the inside of the nails and punch a hole and try to set a rivet. Rivet. <laughs> well, I think that's going to work pretty good. Okay, well, let's go ahead and give it a test run. I'm just going to step right inside these holes. Just got to listen for two crunches. Yeah, that's going to be good. Okay, well, I don't have a punch for it, so we're just going to go for it. It's actually in there pretty tight. Okay, and we'll go around this whole thing here and then we'll put the pipe back in there and nail it back down and uh, we'll trim it off later when it dries. Okay, now I may have jumped the gun, but I think it's still gonna be okay. As you can see, I wanna bring this up here a little closer. I went ahead and put the rivets in just to kinda while the raw hide's drying so they'll dry the way I want it to and then I re retacked it back down and right now I'm just going to kind of keep manipulating you know kind of around it right there just a little bit to make sure it's stretched in it seems to be drying pretty good so once all this dries and it will here in just a little while I'll come back and we'll trim all that off and shape this piece up here ever how we want it okay while well, it's still 
kind of pliable. I mean, she sat out here, she's dried for a little while now. And uh, of course she seen me put the rivets in there. And then what I done is took a pencil and I kind of etched out the pattern inside the nails that I want to cut. While it's still kind of soft, I don't believe it's going to draw it much more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and trim it off with a pair of scissors. Get these nails out of here. what they have here I didn't have enough of the rawhide now again the rawhide is just uh, the dog treats you just soak them and let them come apart and stretch them a little bit and make you something if you make all kinds of stuff thought about making a sheath like this uh, permanently for my cast iron skillet I believe it probably work just fine so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and trim this guy off Oh yeah, it cuts nice. That'd be really hard to do whenever this dries. Well, this dries pretty hard. Okay, there's another treat for the dog. Actually, I already give him a whole one. I wouldn't do that. Well, he wasn't gonna stop till I did. And I had three, that was a three pack. Oh heck, they don't cost much. You probably see them everywhere you go. enough now what I think I'm gonna do is whether it was sitting flat on that board it wasn't allowing this little bump back here to happen so now I'm just gonna put the pipe in there let her dry and I've got me a what we're we gonna call this a neck pop sheath a neck pop sheath that's right so that'll hang just wherever I want it to uh, very similar to the old one um, I'm not going to take away from the leather craftsman that did this because he done good work. Still in good shape. So, anyway, I just wanted to see what I could do with this rawhide here. I believe it turned out well. Heck, I can kind of foresee some future little projects with this rawhide. If you guys think of any, give it a go. Like I said, if you want to give that cast iron skillet handle a go, go ahead. I'm going to give it a try too. You may see it at the meetup. All right, guys. Fun little project. Rawhide pipe sheath. Peace.